I grew up in the projects at the end of Coney Island, and it was literally a dead end. I went to a gym, and my life totally changed. I spent every single day at the gym. For me, it was empowering, and it was my ticket out. On some level, I think I always fantasize about being a superhero. So one day, I'm reading a story about this guy. He calls himself a real-life superhero, and he goes out on the streets and he fights crime. So I decided to dig a little deeper, and I was surprised to find out he wasn't the only one. It blew my mind. Are they vigilantes? Are they cosplayers? Yeah, I don't know. So I'm really interested in finding one of these guys and asking them the same question that people ask me. Why? I think the biggest question is, why did you decide to become a superhero? I guess you'd call it a Lord of the Rings type quest. The first thing you want to do is make them think you're going to do something with your hand. No trouble, I'm, I'm just going to leave, all right? <laughs> so this is my way of giving back for all of the bad things I did as a younger man. You're going into some really dangerous areas. I'm in Belltown and Cap Hill and places where you might have people pull guns on you. I'm probably going to push you a little bit against your limits. He's really cool. He kind of reminds me of like a Spider-Man. Why do you wear a costume? It gets people's attention and they really don't want to mess with me. By the gods! I think it's amazing what they do. We've picked up 3,000 needles just like these. This is school. We all need inspiration. We all need help. These are super good heroes. But you have to wonder whether or not it's a good idea to be running around with pepper spray and tasers. You're looking for trouble. Trouble's going to find you. I wondered if I had what it takes. Could I do it? And more importantly, should I? If you were a superhero, what would you call yourself? Oh, gosh. I guess it would have to be misfit. Oh, f What did I get myself into?